So, good afternoon YouTube. I've got my friend with me here today. Say hello. <laughs> He's also the one who teaches me a little bit of the local language as well. A uh, bit of my, my sidekick. <laughs> so, just uh, down by the river. Of course, we've had all the, the rain and the floods. Um, so it's been a bit of a disaster. Uh, the rain seems to have stopped, but you can see there's a lot of rain clouds in the sky, but they're a lot higher, so we're not getting the intense rain that we have been getting for the last sort of six or seven days, really. So, just go down by the river a bit more. You see how dangerous it really is here. The rapids. Of course, they're a lot worse now because there's a lot more water coming down. So we're basically at the moment, there's some houses across there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. I told you before that Sally's going to play a bingo because somebody's died in the area. And tradition is people go and play cards, drink their gin, play bingo. And some of the proceeds, like I said before, go to the bereaved family or to help with costs. So, yeah. So zoom back out. So everything's a bit wet. We've actually managed to get down here on the bike today, which was a bit of a disaster again. <laughs> Very slippy, as you can see. And as I've said in the past, my bike's not an off-road. It hasn't got off-road capabilities. It hasn't got the chunky tires. It's a road bike with road tires. Um, yeah. But we somehow, we still manage to get you each time. And we, somehow, we haven't fallen off yet. Famous last words, maybe. So this is what I'd say, we're down by the river. We live sort of behind those trees there in the distance. And about if we went straight across there, the crow flies literally not even a quarter of a mile. But we go all the way around, down there, up the hill, round the other side and back again. Uh, you can see we're also getting some blue sky now. There's the mountains in the distance. Well, not really in the distance, they're pretty straight in front of us really. There are people that live in those mountainous areas. Across there you can see sort of, um, what would that be? There's some banana trees there in the distance. Coconut trees over there. And up there. Right, what we're going to do now, we're just going to walk down here a bit. Just wanted to show you more of what the local tractor looks like. It's a four-legged one. It's the um, Carabao. Not to be confused with the North American Caribou. The Carabao is more, as you can see, a cow. Hey, you're going in the distance, okay. <laughs> We're going to try and not get wet. We're going to try and stay dry, aren't we? <laughs> so here's the Carabao, Carabao rather. I'm saying it myself now. They are quite strong looking animals there we go he's a hungry one so a lot of time not so much at the moment because the waters are so fast i suppose but they spend a lot of the time when they're not working and not eating they're tied up so they're in the river so they get to cool down especially in the hotter times here um, in saying that the weather is picking up as far as the heat concerned 
is concerned. Uh, yeah, so that's it for now. We're going to say goodbye. Say goodbye, and we'll <laughs> and we'll speak to you later. Bye for now.